turn our attention to Dallas, where the stories around the shooting death of Botham Jean in Dallas keep getting weirder and weirder. Uh, Jean was, of course, home in his own apartment when Dallas police officer Amber Geiger shot him dead. Now, the Texas Rangers, they are conducting the investigation. They released an arrest affidavit that contradicts witness statements. Yesterday, of course, we had Lee Merritt, the family hired as one of their attorneys, where he talked about those particular witnesses. Uh, the affidavit says that Geiger went to the wrong apartment on the wrong floor, thinking what it was her own. She tried to open the door, say that the door was ajar, and she pushed it open with her key, issued some verbal commands, and then that's when she shot Jean. Now, again, Lee Merritt said at a news conference that uh, they have two witnesses uh, that have told that they heard knocking on the door in the hallway before the shooting. One witness reported a hearing, uh, hearing someone uh, say a woman's voice saying, let me in, let me in. Uh, joining us right now from Dallas is Minister Dominique Alexander, founder of Next Generation Action Network, which organized uh, protests there in Dallas. Dominique, good to see you uh, again. Uh, this, is, this is an unbelievably crazy story. Surely folks in Dallas are, are saying, what is this officer talking about? She parks on the wrong floor. She goes to the wrong apartment. First, she says she tried to unlock it with her key, but then the door was ajar. I mean, at what point are we going to actually get a real story here? I think there are major uh, complications with her story from the beginning, um, from that night. I think that when we first started, uh, we saw that she said that she went into the house. She thought it was her own house. And just the Texas Rangers, since they've been here, um, I think with their stall tactics, they have tried to find a way in order to cover this up. And the community is really not uh, confident in the ability um, in what's going on inside the Dallas investigation. Dominic, I got to ask you this here. I'm looking at the Dallas Morning News story where the police chief of Dallas, uh, Henry, go to my iPad, please. The police chief of Dallas orders review after Dallas cop caught on video shooting pepper balls at Botham Jean protest. Uh, the chief is saying that it's not quite understanding. She's an African-American woman not, who's the chief, not quite understanding why they were used. Quote, I'm concerned to learn the reports that one of our officers deployed potentially several pepper balls during a demonstration last night. Uh, what's going on there? I mean, are, are these cops, do you believe, trying to protect her as opposed to get to the truth of what happened to Botham Jean? Well, no. Uh, last night we was having a demonstration, and when we turned the corner, um, there was an officer, there were about five officers that deployed a pepper, uh, pepper spray, and one of them actually shot it to the ground, and at the, uh, there was many people that was out there at the protest. Uh, Dr. Freddie D. Haynes, um, local uh, person leader, uh, Diane Ragsdale, and it, the pepper spray got in our eyes. The Chief U. Renee Hall was not there. Um, she later found out she was actually traveling to Austin and traveled back and found out that uh, some type of non force was used out there, which almost turned the, the protest into very where rage were given and, and there was a real big standoff with uh, law enforcement. So our community, I uh, think Chief U. Renee you know, apologizing uh, about it. And we met with her office today about ways that we can uh, do things better where that doesn't happen. Tensions rise up in the protest. Gotcha. Well, Dominic, look, we certainly appreciate you joining us, uh, giving this perspective. We'll certainly keep our eyes on this story because, it, again, uh, it's just shocking to, to see uh, and hear of these multiple stories she's been given that totally contradict what she said on that particular night and also how she has been treated thus far by this investigation. So we appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much.